Hey everybody, Marcus Crawford here with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel. Hey, I have the uh, DJI Mini 3 with me today, the Mini 3 Pro, and I am in Star, Idaho, right on the Boise River. You can probably hear the water uh, going over a weir right next to me here. And uh, I'm going to take this guy up and we're just going to look at some of the fall colors. It's so kind of green. It is a warm day today. I think UAV forecast shows it in the 70s, but I'm standing in the direct sunlight. Trust me, it's hot. It always is in the direct sunlight. So uh, let's quit messing around. Let's take the little Mini 3 up and uh, let's see if we can see some of the leaves change. Uh, we're facing a cold snap this coming weekend, so that's why I wanted to get out here and do this on a nice day. You may not see this video until weeks from now or even months from now. It might be fun to put this one up in the middle of winter when we're wondering what warm weather looked like. So uh, yeah, let's quit messing around. Let's get this drone in the air. Okay, I moved the uh, action camera in the shade here so it doesn't overheat on us because it was in the direct sun there, but you've got to look at the, at the little drone there. So uh, hey, okay, I've got a screen recording started. Uh, I've already been through the safety menu. I reset the uh, return to home height at 41 meters to make sure I could get above all the trees there. There's quite a few trees. Uh, I'm just trying to think if we should leave it in 4K60 or 4K30. Let's go ahead and go 4K30. That way we can use uh, zoom if we want to. Uh, we can take advantage of the zoom on this guy. So uh, let's go ahead and start recording now. I'll do that on the controller. And recording has started. Let's do an auto takeoff on the app. Taking off. And there's that little uh, that little Mini 3. Uh, what a cool drone. And yeah, it's giving me, uh, it, it's, te it's telling me that, uh, that it's recorded its home point. Let's bring it in here so you can take a look. And of course the, uh, the obstacle avoidance sensors are going off here. I'm rocking it back and forth there so you guys can uh, get a good look at uh, and how that little gimbal works on there. So, and it's kicking up some dust, so let's get this guy up in the air. I'm gonna send it right out over the Boise River here, right over the top of this weir. And yeah, you can see that on the camera. So uh, let's quit messing around. Reverse and up now, reverse and up. And let's hit way high on that up stick. I made the mistake of uh, not getting over some of these trees before. We're not going to make that mistake again. We're going to make sure this guy is plenty high. And I was watching the drone there instead of pointing the camera down. But uh, there you can see. And, you know, it looks like we're close to the top of that tree. We're not. We're way above it. So uh, that probably wasn't the best droney because I was looking at the drone, uh, not at the FPV feed and at the camera. Uh, but, yeah, let's bring it back down here. And you can see where I'm standing. I'm standing in the shade there. It's a kind of a perfect spot. So let's go ahead and uh, get out over the river here. And, uh, and we can kind of uh, pick up that camera a little bit. And uh, yeah, I'm here in a truck pulled in behind me. Yeah, there's all kinds of stuff going on. There's equipment running around across on the other side of the river. Uh, okay, let's just go, uh, let's go up river here a little bit. And what you see off to the left there, I'm going to yaw around to the left and move kind of sideways. That is the Star Riverwalk Park there. I've flown from there many times, uh, but this time I uh, thought I'd go uh, at this area. And this area that I'm at is actually private property, but they have uh, signs up and parking spots, and they got rules for uh, using the spot here, so we're good to go. That uh, off on our right hand side there, that is a dairy farm, I'm quite sure. Bunch of cows there, we're not going to bother them. Uh, and uh, let's, uh, let's head over this way. Let's just keep going up river. We're about 36 meters high. We're in normal mode. God, the river is beautiful, isn't it? This part of the river's got uh, a fair amount of water in it. If you've looked at some of my other recent videos, the Boise River is getting pretty thin. In fact, I was at Lucky Peak Reservoir yesterday, 
and was astonished at how little water they're sending down the river. Yeah, let's grab a little more altitude. It's telling me here that uh, we're having some signal uh, issues, which makes sense because we're sh kind of shooting through some trees. So got up about, uh, yeah, we're still, we better get a little higher here. Let's get up about 60 meters high. That helps the, the uh, I'm in the, uh, I'm, I'm looking at my uh, RC signal and it's in the yellow. That's one of the things about this controller and the RCN one, it's got internal antenna. And the RC Pro, uh, you're, you're typically able to get a lot more robust connection because of the external antennas on it. In fact, it's got four antenna. So I've noticed before that this guy doesn't do as good. And you know, I'm looking at the colors of the trees. Yeah, it's wanting me to, tell me to fly higher to get better strength, so we're gonna do that. We're up about 78 meters high now, and that helped. Uh, but you know, not a lot of color change. The trees are still pretty green. I have a feeling when we get that cold snap next week, uh, yeah, there I'm getting a, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go clear up to, we're gonna get close to max legal here. Let's get up there a ways. And you know, that is helping. Uh, so I'm looking at these housing developments on the other side here. I know I've got a friend, uh, Dell, that lives in one of those. Not sure which one. But uh, some pretty cool developments. They kind of give them their own private uh, ponds and has some beautiful houses there. And the, the little town of Star, and I say it's a little town because up until a few years ago, it was just a wide spot in the road. And yeah, I'm kind of uh, losing signal. As I turn the drone around, we're changing the aspect of the antenna on it. Yeah, let's see if we get it back. Aircraft not connected, so it'll go into return to home here. As I was turning around, turning the drone around, you change the aspect of the antennas on the drone. We'll get it back here uh, soon. And it is, yeah, there you can see it flipped around and it's heading back to us, so. Let's, uh, let's cancel that. Tap to cancel. Tap to cancel. Yeah, no, we don't want it to return to home. That's not what I wanted. I was trying to just cancel return to home there. And then, uh, and then I see I, I, uh, I lost my, uh, let's go back in under the camera menu. And we want to start up that histogram again. I accidentally knocked the histogram off. Okay, on our way back here. We've been flying for seven minutes and still have 83% battery. Uh, the last couple of days I've been flying drones like the uh, Femi X8SE and the uh, Autel Nano Plus, and they just do not have the flight time that we get on these DJI drones and this one in particular I've got the uh, I think they, I'm trying to remember what they call their extra battery the inter endurance battery anyway it's uh, it's got a little more battery life than the uh, standard so it does put this drone over 250 grams but uh, yeah that's alright it's I've got it registered as a part 107 drone so not a problem there yeah, I was kind of hoping we'd see a little more, and we've got good strong signal now. I was hoping we'd see a little more color change in the trees. Yeah, so I'm bringing it down so we can get a little better look. And yeah, I did see the signal meter kind of go into the yellow there, but we're all right. 10 meters per second, I'm full stick forward in normal mode. This isn't the fastest little drone, but you know, it does okay. It's, uh, I would say, it is faster than some of the other uh, mini drones out there, so. And then this kind of an area here, are these trees, you, I don't think we're going to be able to see it, but there's actually a trail that goes through there that's part of the, the uh, Star River Walk. So let's kind of turn the camera down and let's see what we can see. I've seen that pond that we went by there uh, in the middle of winter. I've seen that frozen over. Yeah, we really can't see the trail, uh, but we will. This will take us straight back to the Riverwalk Park. 
that you see right there. That's the Star River Walk. And you see a few cars there. And there I am. There You see that, uh, well, you can't exactly see me. I'm kind of behind a tree, but uh, yeah. So let's pick the camera back up and let's go the other direction. I noticed this, the horizon is kind of hazy today. Uh, I don't know if there's forest fire smoke or what that is, but we definitely have a haze on the horizon. This is pretty cool. Look at this. So we're going straight across that street. Let's, uh, in fact, I need to turn around and point myself towards the drone. Let's lower down a little bit. This is kind of interesting. I was uh, kind of like to, uh, boy, I, I, I was marvel at this, uh, at this house over here. They, uh, there's a lot of, that's some beautiful property over there. That's, I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Very nice. Looks like they're building a new house that's closer to the river here too. So, okay, let's keep going down the river. And this is down the river instead of up the river. And again, we're not going to get down there too far. Uh, and there's a little more color here in these trees, which is kind of cool. And the trees are a little more dense. I like, I just think it's so cool, some of these homes back here that are kind of uh, tucked into the, near the, uh, near the river and into the trees. That's just beautiful. What a, what a cool place to live that would be, huh? Man, I tell you what, I'm glad I came out today. This is just, uh, this is some beautiful stuff. And I see again, we're, we're losing uh, some RC signals. So I'm gonna grab some altitude and see if I can get some of it back. And we're still in the orange on that RC signal, even though I'm up, uh, I don't know, about 80 meters high. Yeah, let's just turn it around and let's see if we can turn around without losing signal here. Oh, there, I, it went into the, we actually gra gained some signal there for a second. Let's see if we can go out over this pond here. And I'm willing to bet yeah, no, it's not it's not liking it. Yeah, I'm in the red there. As I got sideways, as I turned the drone sideways to the controller, weak signal, adjust antennas. I'm trying to go up higher. Yeah, it's probably going to throw us into uh, return to home here. No, maybe not. Look at that. Look at that. We still got it. Okay, that's better. Yeah, we're almost at max legal here. Uh, I just wanted to fly over this pond. It looks kind of cool. I'm sure this is probably, well, I don't know. Yeah, it keeps giving us single signal issues. So let's turn around. Let's bring the guy back closer to us. Pick up that uh, camera a little bit so you can see what's going on. Now, you know, the RC Pro works with this drone. So this is clearly a situation that I probably should have employed the RC Pro. Uh, but I like the DJI RC. And you see this big old dairy farm here. Maximum altitude. Yeah, we're at max altitude. We don't need to be that high now. We're coming back. So let's drop down. One of the things you learn on flying drones, uh, and it's hard to convince people of, uh, I love aerial video, but often it's way more interesting the lower you are to the ground uh, rather than way up there, way high. So I want to I want to try something here. Let's kick this guy into sport mode. We were at 10 meters per second in uh, normal mode. Now we're in sport mode. I'm going to kick. I'm going full stick forward here. Let's see how fast we can get this guy going at about 68 meters high. Yeah, 16 meters per second. That makes quite a difference, doesn't it? And there's all those cows there. Let's drop that camera down. Good old dairy cows eating a little hay. Dairy cows lead a good life. They get fed. They get milked. Okay, off down the river. And of course, you're hearing that from an old, uh, an old dairyman. I, uh, 
spent a career in the dairy industry, so it's near and dear to my heart. Let's see if we can uh, let's see if we can get out uh, and check out some of these ponds here. Uh, and you know they kind of make waterfront homes out of homes that really aren't really aren't waterfront. See if we can, and I'm turned the wrong way. If I turn around, I always forget. I need to turn around and face the drone. Oh, this is cool. This is very placid, and you can see the reflection of the uh, of the homes in the in the in the water and so forth. It's really cool. Yeah, as soon as I started turning around, I uh, started losing signal. So we may we may end up in. Uh, yep. So there we go. Okay, we got it back here. Let's see. Let's see if we can get a little higher. I'm gonna drop that camera down. There we go. So they got their own little docks there. Okay. So let's uh, let's kind of zoom in on that. I was wasn't thinking about using the zoom. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of cool. How'd you like to? You know, that's that's pretty neat. They got a little dock out on the pond. Nice green space there. Green belt down the middle between those houses. I I just think this. Uh, it's one thing about Idaho, there's room to roam and uh, they really create some imaginative uh, developments. Sorry for that quick yaw there, I forgot I was in sport mode. Let's uh, bring it on back. Get a little closer, see if we can improve our uh, transmission signal. And it's kind of going in and out. Look at this dock right here. So I wonder if that is a public area or is it a, a private dock? I don't know for certain. Let's kind of turn around here. Let's spin around here and take a look. I'm trying to keep the uh, controller pointed at the drone so we can maintain a good signal. Yeah, it looks like we got some just some new houses going in right here. Yeah. Yep, beautiful. Maybe I need to look at a new home in in uh, in, uh, in Star here. This is a nice looking area. Okay, back we go, and back towards Riverwalk Park. And we have a good signal again here. We're at 56% uh, battery. Let's uh, bring this guy down and we'll see if we can bring it home. I'm gonna put it in cinema mode so we can slow everything down. And uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's get down and take a look at the trees here. The reason that we were here to begin with is to look at some of the uh, the colors changing and of course we're not you know we're starting to see yellow on top of those but I'll bet you after the cold snap this coming weekend I'll bet there'll be a lot more color out here and this is just a little park but it's uh, you know I think it's pretty cool nice little city park and that's where I am right there Okay, I'm going to throw it in uh, sport mode. We're going to do another little droney, and then we're going to do a, uh, a uh, return to home. So uh, I'm going to go reverse and up now. Reverse and up. And then we will bring this guy back and see if we can get to a, uh, how close we can get to the landing pad. Pick that camera up a little bit, give you the big picture. Okie dokie. Yep, max altitude reach. Let's do return to home uh, on the app. And it's coming home. And I'm going to drop that camera down as we come. And you notice the drone stays up at that max altitude. I wonder if I can reduce altitude 
with the stick. Yeah, I can. So I'm, I'm pulling down on the stick while it's coming home. And it is reducing in altitude. That's good to know. Never tried that. Never knew that it would do that. So, you know, as you can see here, we're going to be plenty high enough. Even with, I'm just holding the stick straight down. And it's going to be well over the top of us. And 32 meters high. Yeah, it's pretty darn close, isn't it? Reorients itself. I'll back it up onto the, I'll stop it if it's going to land in the dirt there. And it looks like it is. So yeah, I'm going to hit pause right now. I'm going to back it up a little bit. Maybe. Ooh, it's in sport mode. Gosh, I forgot about that. Let's put it in cinema mode. Yeah, it really, uh, it really backed it up there. So let's move it over here. See if I can get a, uh, a landing on the pad. Forward just a little. A little bit more. Little, I'm trying to get center of that pad, but it's, you know, it always kind of overshoots. Okay, uh, left stick straight down now. And it should go into landing mode. And we're close enough that we're not, even if it goes off the pad, and it looks like it is, we're not going to hurt anything. Yeah, it kind of moved uh, just off the pad there. And you saw that on the... Uh, on the camera, uh, yeah, kind of moved over. I was straight down on the stick. Let me get everything shut down and we'll do a quick conclusion. Okay, the sun's going down fast. I had to uh, move the camera here. Uh, hey, okay, the DJI Mini 3 Pro uh, here in Star, Idaho, next to the Riverwalk Park. We just kind of went up and down the river a little bit looking for uh, some changes in the uh, leaves of the trees, autumn leaves. It's not changed that much yet, and I think it's because it's been so warm. Big cold snap coming this weekend, and I'll bet you these leaves will start changing pretty quickly then, so maybe I can come back out here and try it again. But uh, hey, just a fun little flight. The Mini 3 Pro is an amazing little drone. Hope you enjoyed looking at the Boise River. You saw the weir here that I'm standing next to. A lot of people fish out here. I see people with waders all the time uh, fishing out here on this part of the river. Uh, dairy farm across the street here, and you got to see a little bit of uh, Star Idaho as well. So, anyway, I guess that's about it. This is Marcus Crawford with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel out. And if you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing to my channel. Uh, yeah, and we will see you on the next one. Uh, the DJI Mini 3 Pro, one of my favorite drones. See you guys later.